Hey, this is Leslie Samuel from lesliesamuel.tv and I am looking at the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the iPhone 5. Now, if you know me, you know that I am an Apple fanboy. I was born with apple juice flowing through my veins and the iPhone has been the only option. But recently, I have not been very impressed with what Apple has been doing on the mobile front and I've been looking at Google and the Android platform and I, I kind of like it. I like what they're doing and I wanted to kind of test out this uh, Android system and see if it's worth the switch or not. And so far my answer is yes. Um, all of my friends and family and students and all of that, they, when I told them I'm switching, they just could not believe it. I have people stopping me on the road saying, are you really switching to Android? <laughs> so that tells you how deep it goes. So what I wanna do in this video is I wanna do a brief comparison. You know, I'm, I, once again, I've only had this Android device for one day and I'm evaluating it now. I am pretty sold at this point, but I wanna share with you the differences that I found um, that makes me like the Galaxy S4 above the iPhone 5. I'm not gonna get into all the technical details. I'm just gonna get into some you know, everyday comparisons and some of the things that I like in terms of those differences. So let's look at the phones. All right, so the first difference you're gonna notice is the size. That's an obvious difference. Um, the uh, iPhone 4, 5 is about 2.31 inches wide and it's 4.87 inches in height. When you look at the Samsung, obviously this is a beast. We have 5.38 in height and 2.75 in in width so there's obviously a significant difference there you have more screen size here oopsies you have more screen size here less screen size there that may be a benefit uh, especially when it comes to watching video but this is a little more convenient to carry in your pocket uh, this is a little um, more bulky uh, in terms of the size of the device itself now you're not going to notice a difference in width uh, because it's uh, 0.31 on the on the Galaxy S4 and 0.3 on the um, the iPhone 5, so that's not that's not too significant. I won't dwell on that uh, much. Now, the main thing for me has been this: when you look at an iPhone 5 or any iOS device. Uh, you have a bunch of apps and you can go from one screen to the next screen. Uh, you can arrange the apps in folders. So I have all of my social media uh, apps in one uh, f folder and that works pretty well. But that's pretty much all you can do with the, 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 the desktop, right? You can't do much else. Well, you can't do anything else with it. It's just you have your apps and you can arrange them in folders. You can arrange them exactly how you want them to be. With the Galaxy S4 and any Android device, you have much more flexibility where that's concerned. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I decided to make the switch. If I look here, I can see that I have my apps. But not only that, I have the weather for my local area, Berrien Springs, right here. So I can see uh, today it's uh, sunny and clear, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And I can see the weather for the rest of the week. If I want, I can click on that and get more information from that. Um, so th that is called a widget. You don't have widgets with iOS. And I really like the idea of having a widget. Um, here you can see, for example, my calendar. Um, and I can see the appointments that I have coming up over the next few days. Uh, that to me is pretty neat. You can't do that with an iPhone, but you can do that with an Android device. If I come over here, I set it up so that I can see the news that's happening, um, all of the different things that's going on. Uh, depending on what widget you use, you can you know, look at different things there. Um, and then I'm listening to an audiobook right now, an Audible, and I have that right there. I don't even need to open the app. I can just press play and start listening. All right, so that to me is pretty neat. Not only that, but these first four here, these first icons, those aren't apps. Those are actually contacts. So this is my wife. If I want to uh, call my wife, I can just go ahead and call her there. I can um, check her email, not check her email, but I can get her email address. Um, I can start a hangout with her. I can see 
um, her Google Plus profile. Like if I if her address is in there, I can get directions to where she is and I can look her up online and all that kind of stuff. That to me is pretty cool. That's one of the biggest things um, I like. You can customize your desktop much better. Um, now, the way you do that is it, when I click on that icon here, I have all of the apps that are installed and I can decide to take one and drag it there, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, how do I? Okay, there we go. Um, but if I want to go to a widget, I can choose all of these different widgets um, that are here. And that to me is pretty awesome. I know the people out there that are used to Android are saying, yeah, no big deal. We know we can do that. Um, but, you know, for an iOS user or a former iOS user, and I still use iOS, this is pretty sweet. Um, Google Plus Post, for example, if I want to take that widget and I want to put it, let's say, on a new screen, I can see my Google Plus Post from right there without going into the apps. And that to me, you know, I just like it. And I can go directly to Google Plus from that. Um, so much, much more customizability when it comes to uh, how you want your experience to be. All right. Now, this is going to be much more controlled. And because it's more controlled, um, you, you know what to expect from Apple. And I, I've loved it for as long as I've been using it. But I want to be able to customize things a little more. Of course, it's going to be very much integrated with Google search. So if I want to search for something, oh, I'm speaking right now. And it's just kind of waiting for me to tell it what to do. And I'm not really telling it what to do. This is going to confuse it. But that's um, the, the Google not Now, I think it's called. I'm not exactly sure. But it's kind of like Siri. Siri on the iPhone, we have that feature. So I can say, call Marguerite. And now it's going to go ahead and call my wife. But I don't want it to do that, so I'm going to cancel that. So, you know, this has Siri. I can say, call Marguerite. Calling Marguerite Samuel Mobile. And that's the same concept. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Um, and yeah, so, you know, just difference, differences in the way um, the apps work. But I just like that you can customize this much more. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Now, let's go into the phone, of course, because, you know, every once in a while we want to call somebody. Um, this is what it looks like on the Samsung Galaxy, and this is what it looks like on the iPhone. By the way, this is running iOS 7 right now, and um, uh, it has some really cool features. I do like, if I come here to my favorites, this is how it's displayed. I have the individuals that I call most often. If I come here to my favorites, it shows me a picture of those individuals um, that's a little larger. It's just different from how iPhone is. This is very clean. This is a little more um, graphical, and I do like that personally. Let's get out of that for now. Now, they're both going to have the app stores um, for iOS. It's called the App Store and for um, my Galaxy S4 is going to be the Play Store. Now, personally, let's go to the home page. Personally, I like the look of the Android Play Store uh, much better. Um, and it has some really cool features. Let's just compare something really quick. If I say I want to install the Skype app and I search for Skype, and I can look at the details of Skype there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. just want to point out one difference that I found that, that I think is pretty cool. All right, so these are the app pages. Um, it's giving you some pictures. It's giving you the information. And then you can go to the reviews and see what people think about it. Um, and so on. The difference between this and uh, the Android Play Store, um, you have all those same things, but you also have the ability to have a video that shows you how the app works. That to me is pretty slick. Of course, that's going to be inter integrated with YouTube. Um, so, you know, the YouTube video pulls up and shows me Skype. Or, you know, they have a little commercial. Um, that, I, I mean, it's simple. It's nothing like super awesome, but I think it's pretty sweet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that for now and go back.
All right, so that's another difference. Ooh, another difference that I think is really cool. All right, let me go and text. One thing I like is the keyboard here. So I want to ask my wife how she's doing. I'm going to go ahead and type, how are you doing? Now, if I were to do that over here, I would go to Marguerite Samuel and I would say, H-O-W-R-U doing. All right. Not bad. You know, that's normal typing. That's what we're used to. And for me, I think this is pretty cool. Android people, you already know about this, and maybe you iPhone people know about it too, but I like it. All right, so I want to ask her how she's doing. I'm just going to slide. So how are you doing? That is pretty sweet. I'm sorry, I like that. Um, you see how quickly that went? You just slide from one to the next, and you don't have to be very accurate. It, it predicts what you're going to say. So how are you doing? doing. And now I want to see how fast I can really do that. I'm kind of angled in an awkward way, but I'm going to just try to do it really fast. I'm just getting used to this now. Um, but let's go. How are you doing? See, that's pretty accurate. I like that. Um, so, you know, those are some of the differences that I've noticed so far. Um, you still have your apps. Almost all of the apps that I use on the iPhone are available on the, the Android system. So that's, that hasn't been a huge deal for me. I like the fact that, okay, I do have all these apps installed, but I don't have to show that on my home screen. I can just show the ones that I use most often. Okay, and I don't use a bunch of them most often, more often, um, but that's pretty cool. I like it. Um, so yeah, so far, I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied with my Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, and I, I haven't really found anything that I just don't like. So I hope you got some value from that. I'm, I'm not going into all the technical details because, you know, I don't really care about that too much right now. Uh, they're ba they basically both do a pretty good job at handling what they were meant to handle. Um, they do have a front-facing and a rear-facing camera. Uh, I haven't tested out the camera on this extensively. You have the ability to do 360-degree three, pictures, which is pretty cool. Um, with the iPhone, you can do panoramic, so that's not 360 degrees, but you get those longer pictures, and I think that's pretty cool, too. Um, where that's concerned, I think the Samsung Galaxy does a better job because you can do 360 degree and then turn around the room and see all angles. I think that's awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my brief comparison, my uneducated comparison. I hope you got some value from that. I hope that answers the question, why in the world did I switch from Apple, I mean, from my iPhone to my Samsung Galaxy S4. This is Leslie Samuel from lessysamuel.tv. Until next time, take care and God bless.